shift to take the idea of a social justice cause and pivot to Christmas. But hear me out on this. Um, I think Christmas season is an opportunity when the culture in the world, especially here in America, is a little more in tune with elements that is hardwired into our nature by God's design of love, of peace, of joy. And in fact, we talked about this several weeks ago. We were kind of playing off the idea of when to decorate for Christmas and the meaning of this word joy and um, where this all comes from. So here's the correlation that I encourage you to make. And it may, maybe it uh, adjusts your thinking a little bit, maybe not, I don't know. That's not the objective per se. But when you look at the heartbeat behind all social justice causes, it is a drive to make a difference, to change something. Like people see a problem. They may see someone that is or at least viewed as being oppressed. They may view someone who is underserved or underprivileged. This could be this could be a remote uh part of the world where water isn't accessible and now there is an initiative or the social justice cause to to help these people because they need water this could be uh the political climate that we've seen in the last two years just popping up social justice issues related to life or you know different races of people finding a voice that they matter or this could be uh, goodness, there's just a, there's a long list of social justice causes. This could be some things that, like our our Georgia Baptist Mission Board initiatives through Mission Georgia, which is kind of really trying to press back uh, illiteracy with children in our state, or um, uh, or, or abortion and, and and sanctity of life causes, like all of these issues. And and here's what's interesting, like. Everybody has these issues, these social issues that are really passionate for us. And so we, we raise that flag. And then what's, what's frustrating or sad is that we, we easily get divided. Like if I said, well, that's not a flag worth flying, or I don't agree that that's a problem. Where here, here is the shift of thinking that I would encourage you to consider. Is rather than allowing those different social justice causes to divide us, it actually is insight into how we are wired. Because by God's design, we are all created, formed in the image of God. We see this all the way back in Genesis 1, 2, and 3. And this is insightful for us because it shows us how all of humanity is hardwired to love and to care. Now, we certainly can care about the wrong things from time to time. Uh, or we could make a mountain out of a molehill, or there certainly are people that like don't have access to water and they need it. And if we who have resources can help them, we should do it. Like, so uh, I'm not debunking or devaluing any social justice calls today. If you're hearing that, you're hearing the wrong thing. The point I'm trying to make is if we can ha- allow our eyes to see uh, all of these social concerns being a starting point for a gospel conversation. Like if we if we hear somebody that is uh, waving the banner of a social justice cause, whether we agree with it or not, it is an opportunity to leverage for a conversation to simply ask, why do you think that matters to you? What is it in you that you feel causes this to be such a, a passionate issue for you And through that conversation, through love and grace, there is an opportunity to point them to see God wired us to care. God wired us to love. God wired us to to desire to help and to serve and love others. And in that uh, common ground, it is perhaps an opportunity to then rebuild a gospel conversation, ultimately pointing us to the source of love, the source of hope, and the source of peace. So... um, I encourage you today to look around you. There are people and relationships that you have or just people that you come in contact with. You may not know them at all, but you see that they care and they're passionate about things because they feel like they make a difference. I encourage you to, in love and in grace, engage in conversation 
and and ask them to begin to discover why that matters not just on the surface but at the deep soul level where that comes from because the origin of that in the image of god is the beginning of the gospel and i hope that you'll seize that moment so uh, merry christmas to everybody have a great one and a great new year Thank you.